The thing that drew me back, I think, and that keeps me making portraits uh, is the idea that these are very personal images and they become valuable to people. The, I think even more so with time, and that's exciting that in 50 years, someone will really, really treasure this image, this photograph. I really love photographing couples or small groups because we can illustrate the relationship that they have and, and that's a story. That's something that is hard to put into words but you can illustrate it with maybe just the loose drape of an arm over someone's shoulder. A more possessive grasp of uh, a teen, teenager's shoulders by a mother shows her feeling about that person. Um, uh, arms wrapped around a child. It's more than just a group of smiling people confronting the camera. It's, it's the story of their lives and the story of their expression and the story of their relationships one to another. There's nothing more fascinating to me than the human face. There's just so much variety, especially when you think about the different ages and progressions through life. Every face has just an endless number of expressions and they're unpredictable. And maybe that's what I love about it. One thing that's fascinating to me about a street portrait, or, or any portrait for that matter, is that this is an image that will never happen again and it's never happened before. The combination of light and uh, the twinkle in that person's eye and the conversation that's happening and the backdrop is just a completely unique image. On top of that, sometimes that experience of, of engaging with someone and hearing their story from them is meaningful apart from the photograph. Um, I think about listening to uh, World War II veterans in Italy tell me about watching the Germans march into their village and, uh, and their, the emotion of their stories can really make an impact on me and my life, whether the picture turns out or not.